Well, Operation Pillar of Defense is finally over, and when you speak to the people that I speak to, I get kind of a mixed reaction, and perhaps you do too, and that is there's certainly a sense of relief. Perhaps we can feel like the fighting is over for now. At the same time, a lot of people are saying, you know, we didn't go far enough. It was a, an opportunity to maybe stop the rockets once and once and for all, and perhaps we should have taken it further. A lot of controversy, a lot of mixed opinion about it. I'm not here to offer any kind of uh, idea or suggestion about what should or should not be done. However, we've been at this place before, and one of the arguments that I hear and one of the arguments that I cannot subscribe to is the argument of what is called world opinion because we have to be so careful and so conscious about what the world thinks of us and I say history has shown us that guess what it doesn't matter world opinion well you know world opinion here and there uh, we went into 1981 we went to Iraq and took out the uh, Osirak reactor and uh, world opinion was against us we were condemned in the UN Security Council and the General Assembly it doesn't matter we went in 2007, we went into the uh, al Kabar nuclear facility in Syria, knocked it out in a secret operation, and you know what? We were condemned in the General Assembly, we were condemned in the UN Security Council. It doesn't really matter. Now we have a big question about Iran, what should we do? I'm not here to say we should go in, should not go in. Who knows? Certainly not my opinion. But when we get to the argument about world opinion, we get to the concern about what will the world say. I say, you know what? The world will scream, the world will shout, no matter what they do, but it all dies down. It all gets quiet after a while, and it doesn't, in the end, really matter. Yes, I know you think that it matters in terms of arms sales and the types of arms that Israel will get, but I'm talking about not only Israel, but generally even what America does. World opinion only goes so far. The way to decide what to do is based on one thing, and that is what is right. You do what is right. You don't worry about what the world says, because what the world says in the end actually becomes extremely insignificant. You may disagree. You may think world opinion is the most important thing in the world. You may think that everything has to be filtered through that argument. I say it really doesn't matter. Do what you want to do. Decide what is best for you, but don't decide based on world opinion. That's my thought. Is it? Something to think about.